Hey guys. How you going? Oh, it's been a big day. It's been a big day. It is actually going all right. There you go, hundred dollars. Absolutely, I can't stop buying today. <laughs> Would you do thirty? Man, it's good to have you back. We'll sell this off and we'll sell it to a viewer of the channel. Yep. Um, and then we'll put it towards November. Yep. You're a great man. No, you're a good brother. Unreal, mate. Good, I man. appreciate that. <laughs> you good, mate. Thanks, Thanks, mate. That's unreal. Wow. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hope you're doing it really well. We've got a really fun video today. We're out at the local flea market again. We're trying to buy items that we can sell onto eBay for a profit. And I'm really excited to say that we've got a brand sponsor for today's video, EcoFlight. So the guys over at EcoFly have sent me this portable charging station and I'm gonna go into the local flea market and test out a few products to see if they can actually turn on and work. And that'll give me a bit more confidence to go and buy the item. But if you have a look at this, it's got all the USB ports. That's a light um, for when you're out camping, for instance. Um, this one here goes and charges in the car, which I just did before we turned up. And it's even got some PowerPoint plugs, which I think are gonna really come in handy today. There's a Black Friday sale running on these portable charging stations right now. Links are in the the description thank you very much ecoflow let's get into the video oh five nights at freddy's these actually go all right hey guys the um the five nights at freddy's over there yeah how, how what would the best price be for all of them work out a price please yeah just just curious on a price for the for the six okay so there's 190 dollars worth there all of this is 190 is it yep okay the best i could do would be 140 140. I'd even take 130, but that's as low as I'll go. 130 is as low as you go. Yeah. I think the condition just might, for 130, just might not be there for me, unfortunately. It's okay. And what, what kind of price are you looking at then? Uh, I'd, I'd so consider one probably 100. 110. No, I, I would. I'm... Okay. okay, hang on a second. Well, she says yeah. that. You can have them for a hundred. Are you happy with that? Yeah. There you go, hundred dollars. Right, Unreal. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Okay. Appreciate it. That was a pretty big spend. A hundred bucks for Funko Pops. And the biggest thing with the Funkos are they need to be in really good condition. And I would say these probably aren't in the best of condition for any true collector out there. So the reason I bought it, it was under what the, I know they're actually worth. And um, it was the full set as well. They were full, the full set of six. Now, the lady just before she left, uh, before I left her, she said that there was a new stall that has just opened up here at the markets and they only trade Funko Pops. So I, I'm not gonna sell them to them, but I think I'm gonna go over there and get an evaluation of how much they think they're worth in the condition that they're in. Um, and hopefully, hopefully it can be worth more than a hundred bucks. You're making them cheaper, mate? Yeah, I'm making them cheaper. Well, that's always a good thing. Make them a dollar. A dollar each? Yep. Jeez, I've turned up at the right time, haven't you I? You have. Any any TV shows? Uh, yeah. I think I saw a few just... Yeah, oh, that's all them there. Oh, I bet you did. TV shows are always good to get. Incredible. Thank you very much. You have a good day. You too. No. I'm back. I'm back. I'm a sucker for the DVD box set. <laughs> what do you got here? 007. Yeah. Every movie. Thank you. Every 007. Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's pretty okay. sweet. Alright guys. All right. I'm looking at these two. Okay, fifty dollars. What what's your best price? That is the best price. Oh, no negotiation. No, we've already put them down from what they were supposed to be. I'd pay forty. Forty five is a good deal. I'd be firm for 40. Firm for 40. All good if not, but happy to do it if you want it. No, all right, 40 will be fine. 40 will be fine? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Yeah. Mate, it's good to have you back. Um, there's, there's people in this, in, this, uh, in this iPhone screen that have missed you. Yeah. Um, all right, let's go and... Uh... Your bag's broken. Mate, I bought too much stuff today. Yeah. These street machines are actually really good as well. They can be great. <laughs> Just sell them in bundles? Yep. Yeah. I've done them before. And they're all 1994 editions as well. Yeah. That's cool, man. There's a heap in here. Um, but, oh, use this bad boy. 
Hey mate. Hey mate. How are you going? Good, thanks. How are you? Do you mind if I just try and plug this of thing course, in? Yeah. As soon as she fires up. Everything's got to go, no reason. Any mystery games hiding in the hiding in the console? I don't think so. Much. It was my son's. He got a new one, so I'm sure he would have taken the game there. Oh, I hope he didn't. Oh, I mean the disc, I mean CD. Yeah, yeah. No, oh, he didn't. Like power's on. Yeah, it definitely works because he, he was using it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. How much have you How much have you got on this one? Uh, Fifty. Fifty. If there's four USB ports, yeah. it's it's worth double the value. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, so okay. this one's only got two. Six thirty, three hundred. Six hundred and thirty bucks. All the backwards compatible ones. But that's like a normal one. That's a backwards compatible. And the best way to tell is the power USB port. Yeah, I don't know how any other ways there are, but that's the main one. Wow, that's pretty good to know. Yeah, I might, I might pass at fifty dollars on that one. Um, how much on this Harley Davidson? Thirty on that. And what about your magazines? Fifty for the lot. Fifty for the lot. $10 each. That really, it's a really good magazine. Yeah, really. Street Machine, yeah. 50 bucks, you reckon? That's pretty good. It's a good offer. 40 bucks if you're in. 40 bucks. Would you do 30? Is that all you want, just that? I'd take this for 30 bucks. You know, nah, I'll leave them. Yeah. 30 bucks? Let's do it. Just had to go back and get the car because those magazines are some of the heaviest things I've ever had. But uh, I think it's a good purchase though for $30. I've, I've done magazine bundles before and I think Jamie touched on it. I don't know if it was in this video, but he said they were selling on eBay in their uh, allotments of era. Um, so, you know, the 70s, your 80s, 90s. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna sift through it all, see if I can find big allotments of certain groups and uh, yeah, put a price up on eBay. But they do sell the old school vintage car magazines uh it's a good thing to be finding especially at 30 bucks for all of those i always love it when you get into the car park and you do the car park deals <laughs> they're always the funnest i don't even know what okay. have you got you got some some tv show seasons the dr blake mysteries they're good are they yeah they can be good sweet so you got one two three four and then a father brown yeah well that's um so the dr blake mysteries one to four i'll put some comps up on screen <laughs> there he is again. Hey, big fellas, going on? Oh, not much, yeah. mate. See you tomorrow. You bring some See you you? Tell you what, that Mew is sweet. <laughs> Promo too. We're going to donate it to you, man, and put the funds towards my member. Yeah, really? Yeah, bro. That you is. I just want to get a show on your YouTube. Oh, mate, <laughs> what's, what's your name? Really nice to meet you, my man. Yeah, so towards YouTube, man. Just so, put that in, and then you can put all your funds towards your mobile. So, the, we'll, so we'll sell this off, and yep. we'll sell it to a viewer of the channel. Yep. Um, and then we'll put it towards November. Yeah. You're a great man. Uh, you're a good brother. Unreal, mate. You're good, I man. appreciate that. Hey, <laughs> you're good, mate. Thanks, Steve. That's good. unreal. Wow. So there you go, guys. We have a Mew, a 2000 promo Mew. And it's going for donation for Movember, which is just fantastic. A really, really cool donation. And um, I think that's gonna go and sell some good money. It's gonna be up for you guys. Anyone, put your bid in, send me a message on Instagram. I'm not gonna put it on eBay. I'm just gonna sell it off to one of you guys. There it is right there. It's an absolute beauty. $2 shoes. These look really good. Size 6U. $2 on the shoes? Yep. All good. Thank, Thank you, you so much. There you go, mate. 2006. 2006? Yeah. Yeah, right. Heavyweight. How much you got on it? Uh, I've had 50 on it. 50? Um, I'll reduce it to 40 if I get rid of it today, otherwise, I'm going to give it to the salvage. I hear you. Yep. So, but if you go on the um, internet, yep. they're selling them for 150, 200 bucks. 200 online, are they? Online, yeah. Yeah. Does this work? Do you know? It works. It works. I guarantee my stuff. You guarantee your stuff. I've actually got a charger in in my back. Do you mind if I plug it in and we'll give it a give it a whirl? You've got enough output in it. 
I've got enough output, mate. Yeah, this is the um, this is the Eco Flow. Plugs in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it does. That just that's all lit up there. Yeah. Um, so that looks like it's pretty good. Pretty cool device. You don't often see them. Well, if you go on the internet, you'll see them. Yeah. yeah. They sell online, eh? Yeah, big, big money for Big money. Yeah. And you reckon you could do 40 bucks? I'll do it for 40. I used to buy and sell a lot of those um, sound receive, audio receivers, but um, they're, just, they're just a lot of money to post. And I had a look at the comps on eBay, and that one there was only going for about 100 bucks. So when you take out all that postage cost, you're really not going to make a lot of money, but having the EcoFlow to be able to test it out and have the confidence to know that it was going to work if I chose to list it up and sell it um, was pretty cool. Adam, I saw you blogging, and I thought, no, I better not. Uh, better the the, the camera was on. How are you? <laughs> not too bad, yourself. Good to see you, my man. Good, good. What's happening? Oh, mate, just a lot of purchasing. I've actually bought a lot more than any other week. <laughs> I've just been, <laughs> I've been avidly spending today. <laughs> How have you been? Oh, not too bad. You got some bad. good stuff here. Getting done in. These newies are good. Sorry? These newies are good. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really nice. good. How much are you selling them for? Well, I've got them at 10. Oh, I'll, I'll give, I'll um, give actually, you 10. Actually, no, I've actually reduced the price down to 8. I'll, no, I'll give you 10. You sure? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I can't stop buying today. <laughs> <laughs> what else have you got? Uh, These Nikes, what size? Uh, 8s, 7s, 7s, 8s. You got a 7 on those. 7s, yeah. 10 bucks? Yeah, if you want them for 10 dollars. Let's... I'll just, I'll just no, no, mate, I'm happy to uh, happy to do the 10. <laughs> happy to look after you. No, no, no. 20 bucks, my man. Sounds like a plan. All right, guys, we are back home now. Um, and there's a few things that I wasn't able to show you in that video that I was able to pick up because I lost all of my Go profiles upon upload to edit this video. So I've just run back into the office here and I'm just going to film them really quickly and show you because they were great buys and I'm pretty excited about all of them. So let me show you. So the first one that we had was a huge allotment of Simpsons magazines. There was, I reckon, 20, maybe even more, maybe about 30 or 40 uh, Simpsons comics of all different variations. And I was able to get them as a bundled lot for $20, which I thought was an absolute steal. It's a bit of a risk because I don't know what any of them are worth. But, I mean, at a $20 entry point, maybe it's not so much of a risk. Um, so I was really happy to just, uh, for one, just see it. Um, but two, to be able to grab the $20, I thought that was pretty good. I got some shoes. I got a really nice pair of pretty much brand new Asics Gel Kayanos. Um, they were in like new condition. And uh, what were they? They were the, the Kayano 21s. Um, so I should be able to get upwards of $80 to $100 for those. I got some really cool uh, white Adidas shoes. Um, I thought they were really nice as well. Just like the colorway on those. Uh, we got some NCIS Season 1 to 6 DVDs as well. We got them off the same guy that I bought the Simpsons, uh, the Simpsons comic books off and I got a deal of just $10 for that seasons one to six and that should turn into about 40 bucks. And then I got a really cool collaboration t-shirt of the band Skeggs, um, Skeggs and Billabong. Didn't even know that they did a collaboration at any point, but I bought it for $5. I should be able to turn it into about 25 bucks. Like I said to you in all of my videos, I don't really do clothing too much anymore, but that was just too cool of a t-shirt to not pick up. Um, let's jump back into the flea market and I'll show you the valuation that I was given for those Funko Pops that I bought at the start of the video. And, and what do you think the value of it is in total? Um, you could probably make double that if you waited. Yep. So yeah. you reckon there's $200 worth of value? I think you can make 200 bucks. Yep. I mean like... Oh, so it's $300 in value. No, I think there's about 200 bucks there. 200. So okay. mint, mint ones of this probably is two, 235 would be retail of how we sell it. Yep. So I'm feeling a little bit more confident now about this $100 purchase. To be able to get them authenticated uh, is really cool. And to know that I can sell them for about 200 bucks as an allotment you take off your fees, you take off your postage, I'm probably going to make about 60 bucks, which I think, is, I think that's pretty good. $100 into a $60 profit, I'll take it. 